there's been some questions about how long the Reps on Rep series is going to last. This is volume one, so I'm just clearing this up. This is a four-piece series. This is volume one, and volume two comes out in the spring. Volume two is going to be with pros and college players. Um, so just enjoy the series while you can. This is part three coming up right here. Next week will be part four, and I'll be closing it out. Um, other questions about um, the T-shirts, the Reps on Reps T-shirts. The first shipment is gone. The new shipment just came in. These are the Reps on Reps shirts for sale, and these are the Be Elite shirts for sale. They're all on www.beelite.tv. That's www.beelite.tv. You can get your shirts there. Um, yeah, let's get on to this workout. I hope you can learn something. This is a light pregame workout with Gabe Vincent. This is totally different than a summertime grind workout, but the focus is still there. This workout is designed for Gabe to be in rhythm and feeling good when the game begins tonight. Gabe is a guard. He plays the one and the two. He does a lot of things on the court, off ball and on ball, so we work on a bit of it all. But to start off, we start off with some jumpers. We're not experimenting new things that he doesn't do right now, so we're gonna stick to the basics. It's likely that Gabe's gonna shoot this shot in the game. When the shot clock winds down, Gabe likes to rely on this pull-up jump shot. He's a good shooter, so if he can create the separation and get his defender leaning, he can get this shot off and it's a high percentage shot for him. We work on this from five different spots on the court. He makes 10, five from each hand. We do light shooting just to keep his blood flowing to get his feel for the ball going and just to get a lot of makes up, getting his confidence ready for the game. Gabe is predominantly a point guard on this team so he has to have the ball on the string. We don't do too many moves, we just want to make sure that that ball does not get away from him no matter how good the defender is. His handles will improve and will enhance his combos, but that's in the spring and summertime. One dribble pull-ups are a must. He makes two shots in four different spots going to the right. When he gets all the way to the corner, he begins to go left. If you notice his body language, even on his misses, he gets right back to the spot and gets his reps in. Nothing's wrong with a few hard reps in a pregame workout. And we still like to make a lot of free throws, so when the game comes, they feel like layups. This right here is called a curl and the cones are representing a screen. For Gabe to get free, he has to do what is called a swim move. He comes off the screen shoulder to shoulder, catches the ball and squares his feet to make the basket. Now we work on a few flares.
to end the workout, we get up some spot up three pointers. Not too many to the point where his arms hurt, but just enough so that he's feeling good when the game starts. It's nothing like feeling like you can't miss when you're in the layup line. Following everything, we do lots of stretching and minimize jumping, save it for the game. Nice dunk though.